You are watching TFI. Greetings, salutations, welcome to TFI. And indeed, I have given the Vault team quite a lot of stick over the years, and don't they know it? But paint me green and call me a pickle if this is not the best thing they've ever done. Ha! Huh. Every engineering company needs this. This is amazing. I'm quite late to the party, I must admit. This came out a few months ago. Uh, I think it was just before uh, Autodesk University Vegas, uh, so in, sort of November time. It was the 2020.2 update that this came into Vault Professional, but this is brilliant. It really is. And every engineering company who use Vault Professional need this. And if you don't use Vault Professional, there's a good chance you'll need this. I can't tell you that you need it. That's that's not cool. But once you see it, you'll probably appreciate how good this is. So this is all to do with duplicates and searching for duplicates. Uh, let's discuss the problem. So in a think think of a large office, many people working on much data over a long period of time. What tends to happen is you get a lot of people creating parts that have already been created before because it's easier and quicker to model something again than it is to look for it. That's just path of least resistance. You might think, no, 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 I can fucking find it. No, people don't do that. When someone's just sick of their life and they've got their headphones in and they're just like, they're just thinking of whatever they're going to do when they get home and they need to model a plate or they need to put a bolt in, they just think, I can't be bothered to look for this. There's gigabytes and gigabytes of data in our vault, for example. They're going to model the damn thing again. It'll take them 20 seconds, whereas it might take them a couple of minutes to try and find something, especially when the properties in a part don't specifically say, I'm a plate and I'm 20 millimeters length by 18 width by 0.5 thick and, and I'm made of this material. It's easier to just model it again, trust me. So you end up with hundreds, sometimes thousands of the same model in a vault with different part numbers, and that causes hell for a part numbering system. It causes hell for stock ordering. You end up with the same stock being ordered again and again and again. It piles up in a warehouse and you end up with the same thing being ordered again, even though you've got the same thing in a warehouse on a shelf that you could reuse, but you can't because you don't know what the part number of that was. That's probably a familiar story to a lot of people. So, the Vault team have come up with, let's not say the full solution, but it's very, very close to being, very close as God damn it, to, to brilliantly close to the solution. So, it's called Duplicate Search, uh, and it's integrated into Inventor as well as being tied into the Vault client. So you do need Autodesk Vault Professional 2020 and the Point 2 update, and it'll be baked into the 2020 or the next, I can't, I'm not allowed to say the proper, the, the next number. It's, that's ridiculous, but I can't say it. There's a couple of ways this works, right? So let's just get, I'll give you a quick demo of how this works. It's actually quite brilliant. So say, for example, you're modeling up a, a plate, right? And you're going, okay, so I, I need to model a plate and it's going to be, well, I don't know, 28 by 15 there width. And then it's going to be, uh, 0.5 thick right you get to this point and you think I'm sure we, we must have in, in the 15 to 20 years our company's been operating we must have this be, this must be sitting in our ERP system already so what you can do now is you just right click on the part node you go to vault and then find duplicates and you go search and look at that it scans your entire vault and it says this is already this exists it's been made before all these times it exists so what we'll probably do for example in my company is we'll go right look clearly this is a common plate that gets made we'll create a master a kind of a, a master part number or a, a master model and then we'll just replace anyone who creates this in the future just replace it with the master part number uh, and then that'll be that but what you can do is you can go through all of these and go, okay, right, well, which one's been used the most times? Because that's the one that you'll want to use. And it, as it goes, these ones are all just simple plates, so it's a, probably a bad example. But you can just pick that one and just say, right, well, use that one. That, but that's brilliant. That, that alone is brilliant. It can scan your vault at any point. The idea, though, I mean, 
I think I can see this now. Uh, I'm sure they'll pipe up and tell me I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> but I think early days, the idea was to use sort of artificial intelligence and sort of deep learning to like detect how things were progressing as you were modeling. Uh, like, oh, look, it looks like you're doing this as you're modeling. And then it would scan your vault as you're doing stuff and, and sort of pipe up as you as your model was developing but i think the, the logistics of that were probably a bit too ambitious it would have been nice but i think too many people would have been like well hang on a minute what's actually going on in the background for you to be doing this deep learning what artificial what's that you say <laughs> come on we can't be having that and i think then probably went yeah fair enough we'll, we'll just keep this to uh, indexing on at on, on prem level and that's what this is pretty much is uh, all of the indexing to, to, to find. so basically right if you think how is this actually working when you configure the duplicate search so you uh, this isn't a training course by the way but you go into tools administration vault settings and then inside of the uh, you have to be an administrator to do this you configure and then enable duplicate search through this and then it goes through your entire vault and then it indexes the the like the bounding shape of every single model in your vault you can pick folder level so if you don't want to do your entire vault which can take days in my case because we've got like a terabytes of data but you can say only index or certain parts of your vault but it'll go through every model and it's sort of like if you look at this part here for example it just caches i don't know how it does it but it'll just cache like the shape the size of the form factor of that model and then when you ask it to scan for duplicates it'll compare what you've got on screen in inventor with what's cached in the background it does it super quick effective again i don't know what sorcery is behind it but it seems to do it but that's how it works it works really really well uh, you've also got this duplicates dashboard inside a vault which will say to you look at right 16 percent of what's in your vault is a duplicate of something else you can create a report as well you can go generate a report of everything that's in the vault that's a duplicate and it breaks it down into groups which is really useful uh, i've inquired about thumbnails i mean i can can you not show me a thumbnail of what i'm looking at here because like i can't visually I, i've got no visual reference of what i'm looking at here like is this a bolt is this a washer is it a hose is it a plate i mean what is it yeah the, the reckon it would just be a massive performance hit if it was to pull thumbnails from the vault and put them into this report uh, uh, mm, okay i'll take your word for it can't really i haven't really got the credentials to argue with you on that one but so for example group one it, it, it orders the groups based on how many duplicates there are so group one has the most duplicates so there's 48 duplicates in group one so all of these are, are the same model they've just got different part numbers or different file names and um, you can then go to that file name and then address it that's a report that you've got to look through your vault and to i guess assess the damage that you've got how much data is duplicated uh that's a situation assessment sit rep with an inventor though so aside from going oh show me if this is a duplicate of something else that already exists you can go over to a, a top level assembly for example so if you've got a, 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 I don't know, a top level model that you're working on once you've finished it or it could be something you've already done. You can go to your, your top level browser here and go, right, show me everything in here that's a duplicate. Find duplicates, search, and it'll go through your entire assembly and scan every model and reference it against everything that's in the vault. And it'll say, right, inside your assembly, all of these models are a duplicate of something that's in the vault. That, mate, seriously, Butter my backside, glaze me in honey, throw me in the oven and call me a biscuit is absolutely genius. This is amazing. The fact you can do this is incredible. And the vault team have to be applauded for this because this is this is amazing. It really is amazing work that they've done this. So we can scroll down and find something pretty typical like a, a bolt. So this one here is a pretty typical example for us. Someone has taken a regular old screw and they've remodeled it and give it a regular part number whereas it should have been taken from our content center but instead they've just done a save as and give it a part number so this bolt here exists numerous times in our vault it should be this one here which is used somewhere else 
And what you can do is you can say, right, this one here, the one that's used in my assembly, is nonsense. I can replace it in every instance of the one that shouldn't be used with the one that should be used. Just replace all. That's mint. That is absolutely mental. So it goes through my entire model and replaces the, the duff one, the duplicate one, with the master one. That, mate, is quality. That's quality. Save for this washer here. This is duplicated somewhere else. So there's a, there's a master washer in the vault, which is used twice. This one probably used once. And you can just say, right, replace this with that one. Goes through. It'll ask you to check anything out if it needs to. Great. Okay, so constraints may be broken. That's probably going to be nature of the beast you are replacing models with something else it might be flipped you know it's the same form it's the same shape but it might be flipped on axes rotated in a different orientation so constraints might not get respect it'll try i'm sure it tries to respect the constraints but it, i'm sure it can't guarantee it but look at that mate that's amazing so all of these parts in my assembly are a duplicate that's the extent of the problem i'm dealing with uh, so this plate here, there's 47 instances of that plate in my vault. And uh, it's not even my live vault. That's crack, isn't that, man? A little electrical parts, terminal blocks, hoses, bits and pieces like that, little tubes. Just reused parts that people have just done a save as on. The exact same model exists twice in the vault, but it's got two different file names. So it's been ordered twice. Sometimes that'll be legit, but in a lot of cases, someone's just been lazy and they've went, oh, I need to create, I need to order this cylinder again. We've already got like three of them sat on a shelf, but someone raises it on another internal part number and places another order for it on a new part number and we buy you another one and even though there's three on the shelf and it just wastes money. Whereas now we can just go through and just boof, get rid of that problem pretty much instantaneously. So that is the find duplicates tool in Autodesk Vault 2020.2 tight pretty well tightly integrated and I've got it again right I give them a lot of crap when they screw up and that's well documented and I've got to balance that out with credit where credit's due and this is credit where credit's due because when Autodesk had the shuffle about three years ago when they brought the Vault team and the Inventor team together and there was a lot of talk about oh the Inventor team and the Vault team are working together oh we're now in the same building oh we're now under one product management structure and now we've got John and Derek and you know they're all and I was thinking yeah I'll believe it when I see it and I'm seeing it and this is amazing work John Derek your team have done something incredible i hope these guys are getting the praise they deserve internally for this because this is super it really is super uh it's got i mean there is quite a bit we can do to to push this forward i think it's got a lot of potential and there's a lot i don't hopefully we're not just going to stop here with it that it can it can move forward and and develop and progress the likes of the oh it looks like you're working on something with that kind of thing perhaps as a first is as, as a first release this is light years ahead of what autodesk generally have set expectations for as a first release I'm blown away by this mate this is amazing if you're an inventor user and you work in an office with multiple people and you suffer from data duplication this alone is a solid the, the amount of business cases you can raise to justify getting involved professional of this alone. I mean, if you can't do that, I don't know what to tell you. Cause <laughs> mm. So if you want involved professional, this is how it is. I have an affiliate link in the description down below. If you want to buy it, you can use my affiliate link and I get a little kickback. Doesn't cost you anymore, but I get a little percentage of your license fee. So you can feel free to do that. What, $645 a year for Vault Professional? That's a good $645 a year for this. But yes, once again, well done to the Vault team. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else is coming in or as Vault Professional in the future. So thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was something enlightening because I haven't done a lot of Vault stuff recently and there's some good stuff coming. So I'm looking forward to doing some more on it. Right. See you all in the next one. That's all I've got. Toodles.